In this video, let's talk about how productivity grows over time and what determines the rate of growth. In a previous chapter, we talked about how productivity is the main determinant of a country's standard of living. Over time, a country's standard of living doesn't only depend on productivity, but the growth of productivity. In fact, economic growth in modern economies depend on the growth of TFP, or technology. Now you would tell me, well, how about all the other factors of production? Well, increasing the other factors of production will only create temporary growth. And that happens because of another important property of the production function, that of diminishing marginal returns to those inputs of production. Because this is so important, we're going to delve into it quickly. Diminishing marginal returns simply means that as you increase one input, in this case, capital, while holding all other inputs constant, in this case, labor, there will be an increase in output per worker or productivity, but that increase is ever so smaller and smaller and smaller. So as an example, let's suppose that workers have a small level of capital. And let's suppose that we give them an additional 10 units of capital. If we do so, their productivity will increase by quite a bit. Compare it to those same workers, but with an initial level of capital that is much higher. Those same additional 10 units of capital will increase their productivity also by only a small amount. And that's what I mean by saying that in the long run, economic growth depends on growth of total factor productivity and not of inputs of production. Because any one single input of production, increasing it by a lot will, again, encourage growth in productivity, but eventually that growth will run out because of diminishing marginal returns. Diminishing returns can also help us explain why sometimes we see that poor countries grow much faster than, the ri than rich countries. Now imagine a poor country that starts with a relatively low level of capital and a rich country that starts with a high level of capital. In the poor country, an increase, let's say in 10 units of capital, will result in a large increase in productivity. The same 10 units of capital will increase productivity only by a little in rich countries' growth. So here we can also see that as countries catch up to the rich countries and the level of inputs that they have available for production, they will start at first with very fast levels of economic growth, and eventually, once they catch up to the leaders, they will slow down and match their growth rate. 